Welcome to Megger's technical support videos. Today we will learn about overview of sequencer feature. The software is currently being shown in simulation mode. On the home screen, click select new test icon and then select run sequencer test icon to navigate to the sequencer screen. Sequencer module is primarily utilized to test reclosing element. This module can also be utilized for performing end-to-end -end testing and for application that needs multiple states to be configured. Click binary input output options and choose advanced option to display binary outputs on the screen. Max states field indicate the maximum number of states that can be configured for your test. User can configure up to maximum of 100 states in this module. Iterations field indicate the number of iterations that the complete test will undergo. User can configure up to maximum of 99,999 iterations in this module. Clicking this icon will navigate from current state to the screen showing next state. Clicking this icon will navigate from current state to the screen showing last state. Clicking this icon will navigate from current state to the screen showing previous state. Clicking this icon will navigate from current state to the screen showing first state. Clicking this icon will provide you options to navigate to a particular state in the sequence. In the state name field, appropriate name can be entered for each state. In the delay field, appropriate delay can be entered for each state. Clicking change weight conditions will provide multiple options to select from. Weight MS option will make the existing state wait for the milliseconds entered in the window before changing to the next state. Weight cycles option will make the existing state wait for the cycles entered in the window before changing to the next state. Wait any continue option will wait for any of the configured binary inputs to be true and then continue with the sequence. Wait any abort option will wait for any of the configured binary inputs to be true and then continue with the sequence. If no binary input become true before the timeout setting value, the test will be aborted. Wait all continue option will wait for all of the configured binary inputs to be true or the timeout is exceeded before continuing to the next state. Wait all abort option will wait for all of the configured binary inputs to be true or the timeout is exceeded before continuing to the next state. If no binary input become true before the timeout setting value, the test will be aborted. User can connect the IRIG-B time source to binary input number 1 of the relay test equipment. Input number 1 has the ability to decode IRIG-B time. After selecting wait IRIG, enter the desired time. The unit will wait the IRIG-B time entered in the window before changing to the next state in the sequence. This option is used for end-to-end -end testing. POP option is used to utilize the programmed output pulse from a time source. When this option is used, state will wait for the pulse and then change to the next state. When the sequence reaches the state programmed with end option, the test will be ended. This concludes the part 1 video on overview of sequencer feature. Thank you for watching this video.